Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am filming this video for the second time because the first time it was out of focus and it was really bugging me because my face was super blurry. But here we are again. I'm gonna start all over. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. As you can see on the title, I am going to be having a mommy makeover. I'm gonna have surgery actually tomorrow. Literally tomorrow. <laughs> I'm excited, I'm nervous, I am all of the above, and I'm, I haven't even packed, so we're going to pack together, or actually I'm going to unbox everything that I bought from Amazon and share with you guys on a separate video. If you guys are interested, keep a lookout for that video coming up. But today we are going to talk about why I decided to do a mommy makeover and what I'm getting done, how much it is, where I'm going to get it done, and, and all of that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am very excited for this surgery. I'm nervous, like I mentioned, just because I am aware of the complications that can come. I mean, I can even not make it, you know? Hopefully that's not the case because I did prepare for this surgery for so long. Actually, I knew about this surgery since 2020, 2021, 20, no, since 2020, I put myself on the wait list. 2021 is when I gave my deposit and now it's 2023 and here we are. Um, surgery will be tomorrow. I'm gonna be having a breast lift with implants. The doctor and I are going to decide what size suits me best for my frame. So that that's that. I do not want something that is really big, but I also don't want something that is really small. I myself have, um, I have chest, I have boobies. But I do want, I do definitely need a lift. After having five kids and nursing them all, my boobs are not the same as how they used to be before children. So before before I had any kids, they're not the same. They just, they're not. And if I can fix them, definitely I'm going to do it. So yeah, we're going to be getting a breast lift and also a tummy tug. I'm getting lipo. All that fat that we remove from my back, we're gonna transfer it to my booty. So I'm gonna have a nice booty. I don't have a flat booty, but it can be better. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna accentuate the, the bottom and make it really nice. Because after having kids, it is honestly, your body changes completely. I mean, they're gonna repair the muscles on my tummy. I have one request for my doctor and that is for him to remove my birthmark and actually place it back into my new tummy that I'm gonna have. I don't know if he's willing to do that even for him to remove my my birthmark and place it back, kind of like patch it into the new skin, into the new belly. I'll see if that's possible. Um, but if not, then I guess I'm just gonna lose it, but I will show you guys my birthmark. So here you have it. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. So I'm thinking we can like remove this like this and then place it on the new because all of this is going to be removed, I'm pretty sure. So if we can keep that, that will be super awesome. But we'll see. We'll see what he has to say and what he recommends, if he thinks it's a good idea or not. So I've been prepping for this surgery for the last couple of months. I was working out, making sure my weight was stable i am at 135 pounds right now which is perfect because my bmi has to be under 27 for my height i'm 411 last week i started to um have a lot of smoothies green smoothies just to cleanse my body my intestines my everything flush all the extra fluids that i might have and that's what i'm i've been doing for the last week and like I said the surgery is tomorrow so I just want to make sure I have everything and yeah no carbs the last four days you have to like try to eat a very high fiber diet and not many carbs um, just to make it easy on, on the recovery for the first couple of days until later on I'm pretty sure that I can eat normal but as for right now that's what i'm doing and i'm gonna do everything that i can to to make sure that my recovery is is good okay let me just go back for a second because i feel like i'm all over the place my head 
since I already recorded this video twice, I did cover everything on the first one and I was so good at everything that I was saying and and now I'll make sure that I want to make sure that I'm covering everything on this one too. But okay, so let's talk vitamins. The vitamins that I'm taking is I'm taking my Synthroid because I do not have a thyroid, so I have to take Synthroid literally for the rest of my life. Um, and then I'm also taking vitamin C, B complex, uh, folic acid. I'm also taking a multivitamin pill, and that has a lot of iron too. Also, I'm taking iron and B vitamin B as well. So all of this I'm going to be taking after my surgery and I'm also taking Claritin because I have a lot of allergies. They started and I usually take Benadryl because I like to just kind of go to sleep and then wake up and feel better, but I cannot do that right now. So I'm taking Claritin and it seems to work. It's it's interesting to see that I it works, but it's not letting me be drowsy because I'm so used to being drowsy. So yeah, those are the vitamins that I'm taking and I will link them for you guys down below. <sighs> what else? Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, just letting you know how I've been prepping for the surgery. My mommy makeover is going to be down in Mexico. I am getting it done in Tijuana. I do feel like it's a safe place. I know some of you might not agree with this. I, I mean, to be honest, I feel like people do not agree with when it comes to plastic, plastic surgery. Some people love it, some people don't. I, and this is something that I wanted to do for the longest and I, ever since I can remember, after having kids, I knew that my body was not the same, especially my chest area. I think after having Rosa, I noticed a difference and I was like, ooh, I don't like it. But you know, what, she's what, 14? So we're talking like 14 years ago or 12 years ago, let's say, even after having Leo, I'm, I'm sorry, Diego and then Leo, definitely, I was like, okay, I need to do something about this. And then after that, I had Athena, and I was like, definitely, I need to. And then I got pregnant with Gigi. I was like, ooh, <laughs> I want to, I have to, now I have to. And yeah, so it took me a couple of years to to pretty much save for the surgery and also just to be, to be with the doctor that I want to be because his wait list was like two years or so. I put myself on the wait list on 2020 after I had Gigi. I want to say a couple of months after. Then in 2021, that's when I gave my deposit. Then 2024, that's when the surgery is happening. Is it 2024 or 2022? 2023! Oh my goodness, I can't even think. I have so many things to do today, but I wanted to squeeze this video in because I want to get, you know, my feelings, my my thoughts on how I feel the day before surgery. It's its a big deal, you guys. It's its a big deal. Um, but anyway, so I decided to go with Dr. Campos at Lotus Med Group in Tijuana. I am very lucky that I live close by the border, so that gives me an opportunity to get something done down there for a lot cheaper. I mean, we're talking a lot cheaper compared to how much I'm paying Probably here I would be paying close to, I don't know, 60000 or something like that. I can't even think. I don't even know how much it would be because I never got a quote here in the States. But I can just imagine having all that I'm having, which, I don't know, 40000 45000 50000 60000 I don't even know. It's a lot of money. I'm pretty sure it's close to those numbers. I am only paying a third of that price, which is way better than doing it here. The demand for plastic surgery, I feel like it has become very much higher. Like everyone wants to get plastic surgery and it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You just have to make sure you do your homework and you go with someone you trust, someone who you feel safe with and, and comfortable and, and that you love the results, you know, previously on how they have worked and, you know, so that your expectations are somewhere to what you want, you know? I I personally love the way Dr. Campos does his BBLs. I feel like his booties are like super beautiful. They are natural looking, but yeah, dramatic, which I think it's really nice. I do not have a big butt. Like and I I would love to have a nice curve and more more what's it called? Uh how do I say it? like more shape, a better shape, there you go, a better shape and that it makes me feel 
more confident with my outfits because I love dressing up. You guys already know that. And to be honest, it's not that I'm not confident with the way my butt looks. <laughs> it's mainly my boobs, to be honest. That's that's what I do not like um, because I do definitely need a lift. Even though I can fix them and make them look pretty and perky. Um, yeah, I don't want to do that. I just want them to be pretty and perky all the time. <laughs> My doctor, he is awesome. He definitely um, is going to make me look amazing. I know that. I, I feel like I'm in good hands. The staff at Lotus Med, they're amazing. The moment you walk in, you feel welcome. And, and it's like a genuine welcome. Like, they care for you. I have, I have people that I know that actually had surgery before. And they didn't have a good experience with the staff. You know, at first they did, and then later on it went south. And when that person came with me, they're like, ooh, I love this. This is nice. I, I like the vibes. I like everything. And I like the fact that Dr. Campos works at his, um, what's it called? His clinic with just another surgeon. I think two, one or two. So it's not a lot of people that is there. But um, I feel like it's definitely quality. His work is quality, and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted quality. One thing that I am concerned, like I said, I, I have concerns, but at the same time, I don't, and I do, and I don't. You know, I have mixed emotions. Let's just say that. I feel like my kids are so little. If something was to happen to me, I mean, they're going to lose a mom. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to think like that, but it could happen, you know? I'm aware of that. I, I know that. So. I after the surgery, I plan on staying at a recovery house down in Mexico for about a week just so that it gives me time to recover. I don't have to worry about the kids. They will take care of me. And that, I feel like it's going to make a difference on my recovery. I don't have to put that pressure on my husband or my family to take care of me. I just, I feel like it's best and that way. The little ones do not jump on me accidentally and hurt me. I don't want any of the wombs to be, you know, opened or anything. So I just think it's better for me to stay down there. I will be having massages every single day just to drain everything out of my body. Like all the fluids, the extra fluids. I feel like the massages are going to be fine just because I have a high pain tolerance. So I'm not very much concerned about that, but it could change. I don't know. I'll keep you guys updated. We're going to we're gonna actually come together to my surgery. You guys are going to be there just watching as this happens. <laughs> as this goes down, we'll, I'll film the day I get there, which is tomorrow. In the morning, I'll just vlog the whole thing. That way you guys can see how it goes down. But yeah, so that's that's what's going to happen. I'm a little nervous, you guys. I'm not going to lie, but I'm really excited at the same time. I feel like I deserve this. After having so many kids and, you know, I feel like I deserve this for myself. I need to, you know, do something that makes me happy. And if, and if getting plastic surgery and if, like, making my body a certain way makes me happy, then why not, you know? If I'm happy, everyone else is happy because then I'm in a good mood. I can be a better mom. I can do things way better in my home, you know, and in, and with my family. If there's something you want to change about your body, I say go for it, you know. If it makes you happy, if you can afford it, if you want to do it, if you have the courage to do it, because it takes a lot of courage to go under the knife, in my opinion. Not everyone will do it. But if you if you have all of that, all of the above, I said go for it. I decided to keep this a secret from everyone because I knew that if I said something before the surgery, I would get comments on you don't need it, why are you doing it, that is not a good idea, think about your family, think about this, think about that. You know, everyone's going to have their own opinion. And therefore, i just rather not hear nothing and go do what I have to do and then come back and then you can tell me you look great <laughs> or you do not look great whichever one it is but at least I will be done with that so I think it's best to do it that way you know just keep it to yourself or maybe say it to those who you trust and you feel comfortable with I only said it to two people two people two ladies in my life and that's it and of course, Evan, my kids do not know. They have no idea. And I know that if I was to express this to Rosa, she knows that I want to get surgery. Like, she knows. She's no, 
she's not strange to surgery. <laughs> it's something that we have seen uh, people around us get. And if I was to tell her that right now, to be honest, I think she would freak out just because of so many things that are going on in our lives. So I'd rather not tell her. I just, you know, I, I want to tell her after and I'm sure she's going to be super happy for me. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're, we're excited. So you guys will be definitely seeing outfits of the day because I feel like my outfits are going to look much better. I'm going to feel more confident, although I am confident with myself. I'm pretty comfortable with who I am and what I have and, you know, and how I look. Even though I love filters because, I mean, I could use a little Botox here and there. I always said when I turn 30, I'm going to be having Botox. I'm going to do Botox. And I haven't done it. So, I, I think I'm ready. Just the fact that I'm doing this, to be honest, I feel like, whoa, I'm pretty wild. My youngest is, what, three years old? My oldest is 14, and that's Rosa. And, and she is special needs, so she does need a lot of my attention and a lot of my help. But I think I can do it. I can do anything. I, I feel very confident in myself, and I feel like I can... I can do hard things. I have always said that, and I, I always remember that from, um, from a thing that I did when I was younger, and yeah. So definitely, I can do hard things, and this is hard, but I can do it. I know I can do. It. My cousin is going to be coming with me to this surgery. She's gonna guide me since she's pretty familiar with the area and just everything that I'm gonna be going through, and yeah. So I'll come back a week from now. Actually, today is Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday, tomorrow's the surgery, so the following Wednesday I will be back home. I'm sure everyone's going to miss me because even if I'm gone for like one day, the house is upside down. So I can just imagine how it's going to be <laughs> when I'm gone for a week. Oh, it's going to be wild. I just wanted to just be honest with you guys and sit down and tell you how I feel. As for right now, I'm really happy. I, my emotions might change as the day goes on, you know, as, as it approaches. But I can already see me going through those doors of Lotus and I can see just everything going down. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll, I'll bring you guys along. You guys will hang out with me and, and see how everything goes. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to write them down below in the comments. I will have all the links for the supplements that I'm taking. Um, and for pricing, I know I didn't really, really give you guys pricing because I did get a quote right now, but I might add a few things. So we'll talk about pricing on the next video. And this is my side profile, which I don't have a lot of, but, and here's the back. This is how it looks. Then the front. like that my little back fat and my tummy tuck is gonna be extended it's not gonna be all the way like all around 360 it's actually gonna be extended up, I think up to here and eventually the scar is gonna fade away as time goes by I did get a c-section with Rosa so my scar is down here and you cannot you can't even see it it's like super not even there like a little teeny line they did a great job also like <laughs> As you can see right here, look, this is my scar when they remove my thyroid and you cannot even see it. Check it out. It's like almost not even there. By the way, my smoothie is pineapple, cucumber, apples, and a lot of spinach, also lime and orange. This is what I'm drinking. Pineapple and cucumber uh, help you drain all your fluids. All the extra fluids that are in your body so it's definitely working and then after midnight I can no longer eat drink nothing until the surgery is over so there you have it you guys I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and try not to judge me too much when it comes to this video and if you judge me honestly it's cool whatever <laughs> but understand that uh, this is something that I wanted to do for the longest so I'm really happy that I finally get to do it and I get to share with you guys this journey. So in case you are interested in wanting to do this, I'm not encouraging it. And I'm not telling you that you need plastic surgery to love yourself or to feel a certain way. No, you don't. 
But if you if you can, if you want to and you can do something that is going to make you feel better, then go for it. That's how I feel. But I'm not encouraging no plastic surgery for anyone. All I'm doing here is just sharing my story and my reasons why I'm doing this. And again, my reasons are is something that I wanted to do because I have five kids. And if I can look better, why not? If I can wear an outfit and feel like a million bucks, why not, you know? And yeah, so I'm sure my husband's gonna appreciate that too. Me feeling confident and, you know, who doesn't want a beautiful wife, right? <laughs> or a beautiful girlfriend or whatever it may be. Hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget, leave comments and questions down below. And yeah, I will see you all after the surgery. We'll see how we look and if we like the results, which I know we are, but we'll, we'll see as it goes. I'll see you guys after the surgery. Wish me luck. Bye.